Hi friends. Hi, it's Miss Tony here again. Welcome back to remote learning. So today I have two things that we're going to do. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to listen to a song. We're going to listen to music and that's going to help us review our topic today which is talking about the five senses. Okay, so we're gonna listen to some music. We're gonna have some fun. And then number two, we're gonna talk and we're gonna actually read a story. We're going to read a story about our five senses and we're gonna get more information about how we use our five senses all day, every day. And especially it's important now that we're home during remote learning, we're gonna use our, our five senses a lot. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So we're gonna do number one first. The first thing on our list is we're gonna to listen to something fun and exciting. So I have a fun song. I'm gonna show you my screen now. So just give me one second. And I'm going to Pull it up here. All right, here we go. Children's songs, sing and move along. Children's songs, take your brain and body strong. So let's listen, and we're going to have some fun. How do you smell a rose with my nose? How do you see the sky? With my eyes, how do you hear a cheer? With my ears, how do you taste some gum? With my tongue, how do you touch a friend? With my hands, these are the five senses. Now count with your friends. One, two, three, four, five senses. Smell, sight, hear, taste, touch. One, two, three, four, five senses. Smell, sight, hear, taste, touch. One, I smell, I smell with my nose. Point to your nose. Two, I see, I see with my eyes. Three, eyes. I hear, I hear with my ears. With Four, ears. I taste, I taste with my tongue. Five, I touch, I touch with my hands. These are the five senses. Sing it again. One, two, three, four, five senses. Smell, sight, hear, taste, touch. One, two, three, four, five senses. Smell, sight, hear, taste, touch. One, I smell, I smell with my nose. Two, I see, I see with my eyes. Three, I hear, I hear with my ears. Four, I taste, I taste with my tongue. Five, I touch, I touch with my hands. These are the five senses, this is the end. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a all right, guys, great job. So now that we listened to our song, right, that was helping us get excited for our lesson, I hope. So I'm going to now show you our story. That was number two, two on the list, right, of things that we were going to talk about. Okay, so our five senses is our book today. <clears throat> and it was written by Elise Sweeney. So as we know, if we count together, there are five senses. And we could kind of take a look at the picture right now, the, the illustration. I'm going to actually get my, I want to get my highlighter pen. So and I'm going to start circling. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to write the number five, right? We have five senses. 
One, two, three, four, five. Just like in our song, right? We have hearing, we have taste, we have right our eyes for sight, our nose for smelling, and our hands to touch. So let's go, let's read. How do we feel when we have a warm bath? Or see our friends and hear a song? How do we smell a flower and taste an apple? Our brain uses our five senses to tell us about things about the world. Okay, so let's turn the page. And we're gonna keep reading more. Sight, right? We're gonna look around, look around the room. There is so much to see. We use our eyes to see everything around us, right? So we have our eyes for sight, right? I'm, go I'm circling with a yellow highlighter. The area I want you to focus on, the picture, our eyes. So if you want at home, you can carefully and gently point or touch to your eyes. Your eyes give you sight. All right, guys. So now we're going to read more. Our eyes take pictures. They send the information to our brain. Our brain tells us what we see and even what we're seeing right now. So remember our eyes, let's point to our eyes very carefully, not poking them, but just to point to them, right? So I'm gonna use my highlighter, right? The girl in this picture, She's using her eyes to look at the fish, to look in the aquarium. She's even using her eyes to take a picture. Pretty cool. So believe it or not, our brain, right, inside our head, we have a very wonderful, hardworking brain. And that is giving us all these different messages and signals to activate our senses without even knowing. Sound. Sound is all around us. We use our ears to hear. So can we point to our ears? They're used for sound, right? We hear sounds and noises, right? All day long, I'm sure, especially now that we're home, right? We heard a lot of different noises at school. Now that you're home, right? Everyone's home. So we have sound. So we use that for our hearing. I'm gonna circle the picture. So I know, so you know which area we're focusing on. Sounds can be quiet, really, really quiet, right? Like a whisper, like I'm whispering now or they can be really, really loud, right? And I'm talking very loud. Our ears send, send sounds to our brain. Our brain tells us what we hear, right? So I'm gonna circle the picture so we can focus over here that in this picture, Right, we have a little boy and a little girl. They are listening to music. They are listening to sounds. Looks like they have actually a little like um, iPod. Gonna keep reading. Our next sense is smell. The air is full of smells. We use our nose to smell them. So let's point to our nose. 
right? Our nose smells lots of different things. Some good and some bad, right? Sometimes we don't like the smells that we that we smell. Other times they might smell really good. So I'm gonna circle this picture, right? The nose is used for smelling. Air carries smells inside our nose. Our nose sends the smells to our brain. Our brain tells us what we smell, right? And maybe, what are you smelling right now? Maybe if you're home, maybe you're smelling your mom or dad cooking in the kitchen, or maybe someone is eating at home, or maybe you have the window open and you're smelling some fresh air, or maybe you don't really smell anything right now and that's okay. You might, which is not a bad thing, right? You're just not smelling anything right now. All right, let's keep reading. Our next sense is taste, right? Foods we eat can be sweet, salty, sour, or bitter. We use our tongue to taste our food, right? Can everyone show me your tongue? Mm, you can point to it. Your tongue. Gonna circle the tongue in the picture. So as we know, not all, not all of us are going to eat by mouth, right? We may not taste everything. Maybe we'll have a little dab, like a little, di little dabble on our lips, right? Just a little taste. Um, for those that can't, that's okay. That's why you're going to use your, your nose to do the smelling. So you're going to smell all that good stuff, even if you can't taste it. So for example, those that can eat, our, our, our tongue might taste things, for example, that might be sweet or salty. And in this picture, the girl is eating an ice cream cone. So it tastes sweet to her. Our tongue has tiny bumps called taste buds. They send information about food to our brain. Our brain tells us what, what they taste like, right? So our tongue, mm, right? I'm gonna circle the picture. Taste. Our next sense is touch. Right? How do you know if something feels hot, cold, soft, hard, or scratchy? We use parts of our skin to touch. Right? So you could touch your hands right now. So we have touch. I'm gonna circle the picture. I'm gonna circle the hand, right? Hands are for touching different things and exploring. Our skin sends our brain information about things we touch. Our brain tells us how things feel. For example, like how does this paper feel? So the boy in the picture, right, is touching something. Like maybe it might feel wet or cold or slimy. Or maybe it feels rough. Maybe because it has more texture to it. So we touch all different things with our hands. Gonna circle the boy's hand. All right, and in conclusion, right, to wrap up our story, our brain takes in information about the world we live in. Then our brain tells us what we are seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and even feeling. So if we look at this picture, 
we're going to we're going to investigate this little girl, okay? This little girl is eating popcorn. I'm sure her mom or dad made it. So let's let's describe all the senses that she she used just for this simple the simple activity here. So she's sitting down. She is having the popcorn bag in her hand. So let's pretend we have our popcorn bag in our hand. It probably feels like if it was just popped, right? We would feel it by touch. It would feel warm, warm, right? Also, if we use our eyes, it's going to maybe look white and fluffy and kind of puffy because the kernels popped. And if she was listening with her ears, she would have heard the popcorn in the microwave, right? Popping, pop, 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 pop. And then as it was being microwaved, she probably was using her nose to smell, mmm, that buttery popcorn, mmm. And then finally, she of course will try some, so she will taste it. And the popcorn's going to taste salty. So pretty cool, right? So she involved all of her senses. So I'm going to circle that. Right? So she used her five senses. One, two, three, four, five. Her five senses. And then we're going to say stop because we are all done. We are done, finished with our lesson today. I'll bring you back to me. Hi guys. So I just wanted to review, right? Our senses, we use them every day. And sometimes we don't even realize that we're using them, but we're using them every day. Um, so I want you to pay attention more about how, how you're using your senses to participate in lessons during remote learning and even during different lessons, activities that you're doing at home, um, especially if you're home more. Maybe you're going to be helping out cooking in the kitchen, um, maybe helping making some meals, um, following some recipes. Um, so yeah, so have some fun using those senses. And um, we will talk more soon, okay? So for now, Miss Tony's gonna say bye. Bye, friends.